Hello, welcome to Rockville Central. My name is Brad Rourke. I'm the publisher of Rockville Central, and today we're interviewing the mayor of Rockville, Susan Hoffman. Susan, thanks for being here. I'm glad to be with you, Brad. Delighted to have you. We're in your office uh, in City Hall. You can see the flags behind us, and, and you can't see, but I can, uh, a sign behind the mayor's desk. It says, behind every successful woman is herself. I wonder if you could say a little bit about that. Well, I, I actually had seen that in the window of a store in, um, in Town Center during the campaign. And um, I was quite taken with it. And uh, I thought, well, if I make it, I, because I'm very superstitious about jumping ahead, I thought, if I make it, I will um, go back and get that and hang it up in the, in the office. And um, after the election, the um, lovely ladies from the pomegranate, uh, which is the store I saw it in, um, actually made it a gift uh, to me. And uh, it's well under the $50 <laughs> limit. I just just so that's clear, out. right? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Now, um, you sound like uh, uh, someone who might have a, a little bit of superstition about, about campaigns, you know, that you didn't buy it ahead of time. Are you, are you that kind of person who doesn't want to jinx anything when, when, you're, when you're running for office? Well, there's a couple things that I'm superstitious about. Not very much, because I think superstition is sort of silly, but jumping ahead and making assumptions about elections or jobs. Um, um, are, are the two areas that I absolutely do not get ahead of myself. And, um, for example, people often will ask me, uh, now what do you want to do next? Mm -hmm. And um, that's not a matter of superstition particularly, but I am, I am just so happy with uh, being mayor that I have absolutely no interest in any other office. Um, you know, right now, the, uh, one of the main things that's facing the, the mayor and council is uh, development and adoption of a budget for the city. I wonder if you could just talk a little bit about, about how that's going, what some of the priorities are. Sure. It, what, what's very encouraging for me is that uh, I feel that this is, in fact, a good news budget, and, and that's how I would like to refer to it. We are surrounded by uh, governments at the local, county, uh, state uh, level that uh, are forced to cut spending in, in the most dramatic ways, really slash their budgets and raise taxes mm -hmm. all at the same time. And we in Rockville are so fortunate that we do not have to cut anything mm -hmm. and, we do, and we do not have to raise taxes. Very, very encouraging. We have no deficit and we are able to uh, cover everything that we have covered in the past, keep our services at the same level and move forward on um, one of the uh, major things that we're looking at, which is the replacement of our, our whole water line system, which I think uh, everyone is, is well aware if they uh, read the papers or listen to the news, know that the infrastructure that we see throughout the United States, um, which is about, if it's 50 years old or older, is, is beginning to break down. And so we have to deal with that as well here because we do provide our own water. And so would you, um, what would you, to what would you attribute um, the, the, the good spot that the city is in right now? Is, is it, is it um, are we the beneficiaries of good fortune? Uh, is it good planning? What? Well, I want to take full credit for it. No, <laughs> of um, course you do. Of course, of course. And to some degree it is good planning, certainly. But we also are um, the beneficiary of good demographics, mm -hmm. uh, you know, people who have uh, longevity and uh, their, skin, their skin doesn't wrinkle, it's good genes. Well, we're in a situation where we have good demographics. We, have, um, we are living in a relatively comfortably um, economic uh, community. Uh, assessments have gone up because they naturally do, but then government costs more each year, uh, costs go up. So um, we are able to keep pace with that because we have um, a good uh, tax base. Um, and that is where the planning comes in, that we have a good balance between the, the residential and the uh, commercial. We are almost, we are heavily dependent on property tax. Mm -hmm. And so we have to keep that in mind with everything we do, that we have the right, um, the right tax base and, um, and looking at what, ex what expenditures we have, you know, th that we have enough police, 
that we have uh, the infrastructure that we can meet all of the needs of, of all of our uh, residents from the most wealthy to the uh, most needy. You've talked in the past uh, to me about the, the need to, uh, to, to bridge a, a divide, to involve everyone in, uh, in, in the, the life of the city. I just wonder if you could uh, respond to that and talk about how you're doing that. The, we do a survey uh, in the city every two years and um, the most recent one um, showed something that we've seen before, but perhaps even even more um, starkly, uh, that that there are residents on the uh, east side of uh, Rockville Pike that feel that they are not getting the same level of services. We have to be ever diligent to be to, to be sure that we are um, making everything available to everybody in the city. And so, um, for example, we were talking about the water line. Um, one of the things that, that the water line Im impacts is the uh, fire hydrants and water pressure. The majority of the hydrants that are beginning to have a drop in pressure are on the east side of Rockville mm -hmm. Pike. Um, not only are they mostly on the east side of 355, but just the idea that um, a hydrant would fail when there's a fire, um, that a hydrant in front of a house would fail, just, I cannot begin to describe what that, I, I get chills, it's, it just, I, I am committed that it will not happen on my walk. You know, when we look at, uh, at, at different approaches uh, that, the, uh, that the staff has recommended to us, I am um, leaning, not leaning, I have already decided uh, to move with the most aggressive recommendation because there's no excuse for doing anything less. Now, uh, for good or ill, uh, my own personal feeling is for good, but uh, um, you're, you're, you're very, uh, very associated with uh, the, the town square, the, the development, right? We can't really see it from <laughs> here as well as I might like, but it's right over there. <laughs> you can't see it, of course. Um, what would you say are the are the, the the next steps for that 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 just need to happen? The next two or three things that are important for Town Square. Well, we are in the final stages of installation of the uh, the new fountain, mm -hmm. and so for those who are sort of have seen some things going on with with the construction tape, that was uh, final stages of replacement of the. Um, of the pavers mm -hmm. that we had had so much trouble with. Ah, uh, the pavers. And, yes, I won't ask about the pavers. Um, well, I, I will tell you that we're very close to uh, wrapping that up. I, we're still in the in the process of getting uh, the responsible parties to pay for it. Uh, but we did not want to delay and 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 let the lawsuit dictate when we would fix the pavers. So right. we made the commitment to do it, and then we'll get paid. That back. also gives you a number to negotiate off of. Exactly. Exactly. When, when it comes time. Right. How do you know what you need till you till you've done it? Exactly. Um, but then there's also some fencing around the um, fountain, mm -hmm. and um, there is something about moving water that is such a um, an important contributor to a uh, sense of a wonderful place. And so once that fountain is open, uh, and I believe that will happen uh, sometime next month, uh, will will be essentially complete in Town Square. And um, I'm looking forward to that fountain uh, very much. Fountains are tricky, and there mm -hmm. are times when they um, they need repair and so mm -hmm. forth. So we we have to um, always have in mind that we will have to uh, keep it uh, keep it uh, fresh because there's minerals in the water that you know clog things. But it's well worth all mm -hmm. of the things one has to go through. Mayor, well, I just have one other question for you, and, and this is probably the most important question. If you were a Brady, who would you be? Oh my gosh. I don't know. I just want to say Marsha so I can say Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Um, Everybody loves Marsha. I know they do. I know. I'm not sure. Um, maybe Cindy, just because her whole future's ahead of her. And I always feel that way about life, that um, it's such an adventure and um, there's so many new things. Um, so, but I'll just, I'll just say, I'll say Cindy. And she's so good-hearted, too. Yeah. You can't go wrong with Cindy. Mayor Hoffman, I want to thank you for being with Rockville Central today. Thank you. Thank you.